Hi Taurus. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for November the 13th through November the 14th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for November the 13th through November the 14th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for November the 13th through November the 14th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for November the 13th through November the 14th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups. For Taurus. Clarify the King of Cups. For Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that, you know what? I'm going to master my emotions. I'm, I'm just going to leave this situation. I'm going to detach emotionally. Or you're telling me that you want to return because you still have a great deal of love for this person. We'll see. Taurus, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Taurus, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the page of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the ten of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Taurus, listen, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. Taurus, you may be sick and tired of being sick and tired. Concerning some type of news about practicality, maybe money, okay? Or argument over money. Could also be about commitment. You're just tired and ready to release this burden. Possibly walk away here. Taurus, you have the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you, rest. I'm sorry, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Four of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. But Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant. Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct harsh communication. Now here, really, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Taurus, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment. Taurus, we seem to be having some type of confrontation concerning it. Maybe some type of heated discussion or argument, Taurus. It's a situation that's burdensome here. That may be causing you to walk away. Now, this can be practicality, dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, or something about maybe commitment here. Taurus. Taurus, you have the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention, or you're beginning to recognize something, or you're getting attention and recognition. So Taurus, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the Six of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. 
This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that someone's making an announcement here, wanting to go into commitment, maybe returning here because someone is offering commitment here, setting the record straight, wanting to go into commitment. But Taurus, you could also tell me that something is being brought to someone's attention. They're beginning to recognize something here, and it may be an ending here, Taurus, and a walking away. Are you going or coming? You have the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else, causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Taurus could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. Clarify the devil for Taurus. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, Anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Now Taurus, you can tell me it's toxic, there was a third party involved. Taurus, you can tell me that this is concerning a legal binding contract and you're hurt by it. Could be you guys' already established commitment here. And you're walking away. But Taurus, I hope it's not you wanting to set the record straight and wanting to go into commitment or heal you guys' commitment and they turn you down here. It seems to be burdened by the whole situation. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. And so, journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. Journal, writing, diary, keeping notes. Oh, someone's documenting things here. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? It says, projected future days, weeks, months. Projected future days, weeks, months. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you need to write it down, Taurus. You know, have a paper trail here about something. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 13th through November the 14th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.